All right, guys, so today I wanted to talk about how I do ADR. So if you guys aren't familiar, uh, ADR stands for Automated Dialogue Replacement, and it's something that we do in film all the time. So a lot of times audio kind of gets the backseat when we're doing our on location, our production work. So a lot of times our dialogue then that's recorded with that production audio is not the best quality. So a lot of times we then want to replace that in the studio. So we will record ADR, which is when we replace that on location, that production dialogue audio with a uh, dialogue that's then recorded in the booth. And that's what we we call ADR. So today I figured I'd show you guys how I do ADR recording so that you can kind of see the workflow and hopefully uh, it's helpful to some of you guys. And as always, I know there's probably a way to make this more efficient or improve my workflow. So if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know in the comments below. I love that stuff. So first things first, whenever I open a session, I always make a stereo master fader. So I'm going to do command shift N to create a new track. I'm going to do stereo master fader, and I'm just holding command and using the arrow keys to toggle between these options here. So stereo, master fader, create. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import my video. So I'm gonna import a video here. And I'm just gonna import a video that's a video from a previous episode that I made because I don't want to have any copyright infringement placed upon this YouTube video. So I'm just using one of my previous videos. Uh, I'm sorry guys, that's what I'm doing. So one of the first things we do whenever we import video is we wanna check this frame right here. So you can see that this is red. And if you guys have seen some of my previous videos, then you'll know that we have to match this value. And since it's red, that is bad. So we wanna to go to setup, session, and we're just gonna match that frame rate until it's white. So that looks good. And so this is the original audio from this video. And so we're just gonna pretend that this is the production audio that is no good, right? So when we're ready to record ADR, what we wanna do is we wanna do Command Shift N to create a new track. And we're gonna create a mono audio track because we're just recording one microphone, right? So a lot of times my students um, make this mistake, they'll make a stereo audio track, but you want it to be mono. It's just one human voice, one microphone, it's just one mono signal, right? And I actually have a video, I should be up by now, that's all about if you accidentally record a stereo track when it should have just been a mono, how to fix that. So I will link to that in the cards. Okay, so before you actually start recording, you wanna check that you have a few settings in place here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to options here and I'm gonna make sure that loop record and loop playback are both checked off. And you want both of these to be checked off to properly do your ADR recording. So just make sure that that's a thing, that that is there. And then the other setting that you wanna make sure you have, a lot of times you don't, I don't check this every time I actually do ADR recording. Um, another way you can check it is just do a dry run of a record and see if it automatically playlists, which I'll show you guys in a second here. But I'm just gonna to go to setup and preferences so you guys can see this setting. So you're just gonna to wanna to go to the operation tab up here at the top. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that, oh, mine is not checked off. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that automatically create new playlists when loop recording is checked off. So that's really important if you start to record and then you go to the playlist view and you find that it's not creating new playlists. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that in a second here. Uh, then this is where you're gonna find that setting to fix that issue. So you wanna make sure that this is checked off and that you have loop record and loop playback checked off. So now all the settings are in place to do ADR recording. So I have a video that's all about preparing to record and all the stuff to think about as you're starting a recording. So I'm gonna actually link to that at the top of the screen here with one of my cards. But I'm basically gonna assume that you guys understand those concepts. You understand you know, how to record and enable a track, how to set your gain levels properly, and all that stuff. You know, All the stuff like making sure that you're uh, actor or you know your whoever's doing the performance is warmed up stuff like that all right so now I'm just gonna find a small phrase just to use as an example for this video so I'm gonna do this phrase okay so books that's the phrase I'm gonna do. And it's actually really good for ADR to do smaller phrases, especially if the actor is having trouble actually syncing with what's uh, being said visually on the screen, then what you can do is you can shorten the phrase that you're working on at any given time. 
and that'll help them get into the rhythm of this a little bit more and you'll see why in a second here but I do recommend doing smaller phrases and you know if they're having trouble just reduce that phrase so I'm just going to do this phrase as my example but basically what you want to do is you want to just highlight that phrase and a lot of times what I will do is I will actually um, drop a marker so I'm going to drop one here and one here and so you'll notice these markers were uh, numbered one and then two so I can use my shortcut to jump to markers I can go on my numeric keypad period one period and then hold shift and go period two period and now I have the highlight for that phrase so if you're moving around and you're just worried about being able to jump right back into that highlight super easily uh, that's one thing you can do is drop markers so that you can find that highlight again so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my input here um, I believe this is the microphone I'm talking into right now. And I'm going to record and enable this. this. So now, now I can hear myself, myself and, and you guys uh, will probably notice that there's a slight. Uh, let me change that real quick. Okay. 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 Let's do that. okay, so now I can hear myself and you guys might notice a slight delay. I'm not exactly sure how the screen capture works, but I'm pretty sure there might be a version of my audio going into the screen capture directly, and now there's also this audio that's on this track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this other one. Let me listen to it really quick. Okay, so books. Okay, so books. And my computer is really laggy, so uh, we might have to just uh, use our imaginations a little bit with lining up with this video. It's because I'm doing the screen capture in addition to doing this recording. But um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this. You can turn this down too. It kind of depends on what the performer, what the actual actor wants, right? Sometimes they want to be able to hear it and line up with it. Sometimes they don't. Um, actually, I'm going to keep it up here just because uh, I can't line up visually with the screen so easily. Gosh, I'm getting some artifacts here with this screen capture going at the same time as this recording. That's interesting. Um, anyway, bear with me guys. So basically all you're going to do is highlight the phrase you want to work on and then you're going to hit three to record, right? Okay, so books. Okay, so books. Okay, so books. Okay, so... And so each time this does a pass, it's recording what I'm saying here. So later I'm going to go look, I'm going to have all these uh, versions of my audio as takes different takes that are lined up visually with this one uh, segment of time on the actual screen. Um, okay, so my Pro Tools is having trouble. Um, but I can still show you the concept here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to line up the way I'm saying, okay, so books with uh, what's being said on the screen. So normally you might do this visually. Right now I'm going to do it with the audio. So books. Okay, okay so, so books. Okay, so, so books. Okay, okay, so books. Okay, so... So once you think the actor has actually lined up with what's being said on screen and they've gotten a good take or two, usually I wait until they've gotten a couple good takes, right, just for safety, um, then you can pause the recording, you can stop the recording. And so now if I go over here to where it says waveform on my track, I can switch into the playlist view and we can see all those takes that I just got. So again, that's why we went into setup and then preferences and made sure that that automatically create playlists when loop recording, I believe is what it said, um, made sure that that was checked off, right? That's so that these are actually auto-generated and when we switch into playlist view, we actually have content here. So now you've basically done the ADR recording and now what you want to do is when you are comping is a lot of times my first thing that I do here is I now create a new track here, a new playlist, and that's, sorry, I like went ahead of myself here. So that's by clicking on this little arrow here, and then you uh, select new playlist. So I might name this like the comp. Maybe I'll name it final comp. I hit okay. And so now it's created a new playlist here that's completely empty. So once I've done a whole bunch of phrases here, I will then create this new playlist to comp to. And then you can go through and you can listen. So I think this is one of the times I was actually saying the phrase. So if I hit play, I'm not going to hear anything because um, this is muted. So yeah. So I won't hear anything, right? Because there's nothing on this main playlist. But these sub playlists have content. So the way you do that is you highlight 
whatever section you want to listen to. So I'm just going to highlight the whole phrase. And then you hit solo. And then you will hear this audio here in context of the rest of the session. So if I had other tracks here, I would also hear the other tracks. So this solo on these subtracks here, so these ones that are indented here, this solo does not soft mute my other tracks in my session. It only overrides this main playlist here. So right here. So I'm going to hit play. So each time this does a Oh, so that's me actually just talking about it. So I'm going to find one where I'm pass. It's recording one. Let's see. It's one of these later ones. Okay, so books. Cool. So you find one you like. Okay, so books. Okay, so books. You know, it's not necessarily... Um, ideal that I can't see what I'm doing here on the screen. Oh, that's a lovely face. Um, but you know, ideally, you're not doing a screen capture while you're doing ADR and you have a powerful enough computer. So ideally, you'd be able to see what's going on here. And you'd be able to line up that ADR with what's going on visually and confirm that it's good. So let's say this one's good. So what I want to do is highlight whatever part of the phrase or complete part of the phrase that I want. And then I'm just going to you'll notice this up arrow becomes active. So I can just hit up. And now it is on my main playlist here at the top. And so I can also just comp different parts of the phrase together. So I can comp this part. So I just hit that up arrow. So now you'll see I have a combo, an actual comp of those two phrases put together. OK. Oop. And I still have this soloed. So I'm actually just hearing this one. So I want to unsolo that. OK, so books. So that's basically how you do the comping. So you just go through the film, pick the phrases that uh, lined up that sounded good, and then you would uh, comp those up to the top using these little arrows and using the solo buttons to hear them. And then once you're all done comping, you just go where it says playlist here, switch over to waveform, and now you have your, uh, your edited, your comped track uh, all in one place. And you'll want to probably do crossfades and fades so you avoid speaker pops. And that's it. That's how you record ADR. That's how you comp the ADR once you're done. Um, I hope my issues with my computer lagging with this uh, video file and the screen capture wasn't too much of an issue for you guys. Um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below if you found this helpful. Um, I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, that's about it. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff that YouTube people love. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. And if you do want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So yeah, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for watching. Okay. So again, that's why we went into setup and preferences and made sure that it was creating these playlists when we're automatically creating the playlist when we were...